Hello, it's been a long while since I've recorded. The basic, uh, basic reason is I've been cycling in the shed for most of the winter. I have to admit I'm a fair weather rider, so I don't mind admitting that. There's nothing fun about the rain and the cold as far as I'm concerned. And I've been riding using my trainer uh, and a variety of these kind of computer uh, apps that hook up to your trainers. Uh, Zwift primarily, initially, until about two weeks ago I discovered Ruby uh, and I've been playing with uh, Ruby ever since. So today I'm going to go on another Ruby ride, um, the Red Rock Amphitheatre in Colorado, USA. Uh, it's a 12 and a 12.05 kilometer ride, 384 meters of climbing in that ride, so quite a lot of climbing over a short distance. Um, but I, I like this, it kind of, it, it's an AR system, so you see computerized figures and computerized bikes riding on real roads basically, <clears throat> and your trainer acts to drive your your bike or your avatar. Um, I'll kick off, we'll start, we'll see how this goes, uh, and I'll, I'll chime in and out with the commentary as we see fit. And this may be a deadly boring video, and I apologize if it is, but uh, we'll give it a go, okay? Um, so I've selected my route, as you can see, kind of top left, uh, and all I do is press start, and we simply start. Okay, so there's the map or the route that we'll be riding. I'm guessing just by pedaling here, it's going to kick off and uh, set things rolling. Okay, so we're on the map. Change the video mode. And we're off. So that's my avatar there with the purple chevrons on it. And we started straight off onto a three and a half percent uh, drag. You see the profile of the ride on the bottom. The darker section, the steeper it is. So it looks like I'm in for a drag. First third of the ride, followed by a couple of easier sections and a few sharp climbs later on. I'll come back to you when we are, we're into the ride. <clears throat> okay, so just uh, tickling the start of the ride. Looks like the uh, first third of this is pretty much a grind uphill. Just been through one eight percent section. <clears throat> you probably hear I'm out of breath. But uh, we'll carry on. One thing I do like with Ruby compared to Zwift is the road feel. Uh, particularly the gradient changes. Seems to sit and work really well with my particular trainer and elite director. Uh, where Zwift kind of jumps from one gradient to the next. You can see the map in the top left hand corner of the screen. And for each of those dotted lines, when you change it, it takes another average gradient. So it's constantly changing and it does it smoothly as well, which I really, really like. Oh, 10%, nice. And back down again, 8.2. It's going to be a tougher ride than I thought, but hey ho. Okay, nine and three quarter kilometers to go. Just past that car. Just about hit another Nadri steep bit, 8.2%, 10%, 11. Oh, that days. Give me the clanking of the gears there, 12. down to 11 again and thankfully it looks like it flattens off for a little bit after that 
273 meters of climbing to go. Top left hand corner, showing your power output and what zone you're working in, as well as your watts per kilogram. Heart rate, cadence, and speed. Oh, oh my days. Bless you. Take a breather. About 3% flat. Feels a lot flatter than 11%. Here we go again. Another climb approaching. Okay, you can see from the graph at the bottom, we're in the uh, last little bit of this uh, first drag. Up at about 8% now. Eight and a quarter kilometers to go. 7%, sit back down again, that's nice. You may notice a little counter on the right hand side that says 107, just turned to 108. Similar to the Zwift points with Ruby, you earn coins and you level up depending on the number of coins you earn. <coughs> Currently, I'm a level 7 rider, so there's a, I think there's nine grades in the starter band, so I'm at level 7. Starter, I quite expect to hit level 8 today, that purple ring will be closed and then uh, on to level 9 obviously, oh, tough, this is tough. You can probably hear my trainer grinding in the top sections. Okay, done it at the top, hurrah. Oh yeah, got a predominantly sound hill now. One of those pedestrians, there we go. Level seven, and magically it turns into level eight. Right. Level 8 and level 9 to get through now, and you'll see the coin thing in the right hand side has reset itself. So the purple band has gone. That will start growing again now as I clock up more kilometres. And downhill for a while, so I'll take a rest. We'll come back when there's something more interesting happening. You can see the scenery is great though, and actually, and the way the, uh, the augmented reality stuff works with the uh, works with the video is absolutely superb. Gives a real sense of being in a place. You can turn the uh, heads-up display up off as well, so that you're just left with complete uh, complete video, nothing else. Do that by the way of the companion app on a mobile phone. Uh, it's a little bit flaky connection wise sometimes at the moment, it's still in beta, but uh, generally speaking, I find it very useful. Right, chat in a second. Okay, just starting the last. Sorry, I've got sweat in my eyes. Just starting the last climbing bit. Uh, as you can see, fairly gentle at the minute, six percent, six percent gentle, and then onto a a much darker red patch 
which uh, I suggest will probably be eight or nine percent, something like. Just keeping an eye on the left. Still not far from home now. 3.4 kilometers. Completed two thirds of the climbing. The three people that are nearby me, Will, Emma and Peter, are my virtual uh, ride mates. You probably saw at the start, you could select the number of ride mates you wanted. Okay, getting chaffer now. Eleven percent. It's going to get tougher. Luckily, I've got a couple of cogs left on the back. Whoa! Yeah, bugger. Twelve percent. Grind it out. Keep turning. Keep grinding. Gears. Gotta keep spinning now. All the way. It's really hurting my legs. My thighs burning a bit. Halfway through the really steep stuff. Hard work. Hard work. Nearly there though. Nearly over the worst today. How do you guys cope with long drawn out climbing sections? What do you use for motivation? Do you talk to yourself like me? Oh, when 7% becomes a rest. Oh, my dear. Oh, my days. <clears throat> Change up a couple of gears. Give myself somewhere to go in a minute.
top left. Last little bit of orange and then green. Glorious green. There's the two gears I needed. She comes off the pedals. Trainer's doing its work. And spin. Back into the big chain ring. And a smaller cassette. Oh. One last bump to get over. And home and dry. this almost grinding a wrong gear brain fog I forgot which relief I did which which lever do what? Oh good, 11%, who'd have thought? However, Now, it looks like we're home, all the way. Hurrah. Okay, that's the 400 meters to go now. Nice downhill quick piece this. In actual fact, the ride didn't take me as long as I thought. I was banking on around 40 minutes, but uh, probably going to be a little shy of 34, 35. Here's the finish line. Here we go. Ah, finally. Would I like to continue or go to another ride? No, nope, I really wouldn't. End the ride. And there you'll see it gives you some stats. Fairly easy ride, it's got two difficulty. Oh, that will upload to uh, Zwift, sorry, upload to Strava, uh, and a training diary, a, a, a Groovy training diary. But that's it, that's what I've been doing for the majority of the winter. Uh, soon be time to get my road legs on again. I've got a few things planned for the summer, the spring and summer, but uh, we'll talk about those in due course. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you kind of enjoyed that. Sweaty bloke on an indoors trader. What fun. Cheers everybody.